Avery. What? Hey, are you licking the table? Were you licking the table? Yeah. That's weird. Don't lick the table. Yeah. You don't need to lick the table. Today we're actually be doing something that I have, uh, I've actually never done in Texas. To, to be honest with you guys, never done in Texas. You got what? What do you got? You got a bone. It's a bone. Come here, I want to see your jacket. That's such a pretty jacket. It's so pretty. I don't, you got to use your words. I don't know what that means. Look at this. Yeah, I know that's awesome. Yeah. Pepper house. Pepper's house, okay. I have to show you something my rabbit. Okay, show me the rabbit. So the kind of fishing that we're gonna be doing today, I'm only gonna need one rod. <laughs> one rod right here. That's it. This one actually might be a little overkill, but we're going to need that and a cooler. I might throw one of these Pelican coolers in there. This is a smaller one. Please, I need to get ice. So actually, in yesterday's video, I don't know if you guys did see that, we did buy a, a new truck. That one right there. Because uh, we're, we're going to be giving away the old Ford here uh, probably the next couple days. I'm going to announce uh, the giveaway for that, but I want to show you guys this. I've been kind of teasing our little partnership we have with Bass Mafia. I just got a some of the samples of the products that are launching here in the next 30 to 45 days. Just a quick glance, that's all you get. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Okay. That's all you get. There's a couple more things coming out, like Victor's five or six, I don't really matter. Thought I'd just give you guys that watch the channel as a quick sneak peek. Now it's off. Well, we gotta make a pit stop. We gotta call the man the myth legend himself. Oh, how you doing? Uh, good, I'm at the uh, DMV right now. Oh, wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I was gonna tell you, I'm gonna go do a Rackley style video today. It is going to consist oh. of hopefully some catching, some cooking, some bonking. Oh. And I wanted to know if you wanted to join me, but apparently getting your license is a little bit more important. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be here for a while. I'm just trying to get it together. <laughs> okay, all right. So the other day I actually stopped inside of an academy and they had the Guggen Baits. And if you guys did not know that, I'll go ahead and uh, um, let's rewind to that day there, Steven. Well, look at there. There they are. Okay, so I'm gonna stop at this one right over here. Now, the thing is, is we're gonna be in all academies, Guggen Bates is that is, by April 4th, I think. Right now, we're in half of them. So by me walking into this academy, I don't know if they're gonna be in there. I'm gonna check, but I'm also not here to buy any Guggen Bates. I'm here to buy something else that I need for today. But I just thought I'd let you guys know if you guys have an academy in your area and uh, you like to uh, dangle a little bit of Guggen Bates or never dangled them before, go in there and give it a shot. See if they got them. Uh, other than that, probably need my wallet come on Academy you gotta have it you gotta have it do me right <sighs> oh my lands I see it oh buddy look at all those suckers right on the end cap that's what I am talking about that's what I'm talking about all the colors you need in your life look at all that not even down the fishing aisle all on the end cap oh thank you I do love you for that Academy I do I do now I'm here to find something a little bit different though. So this is actually the aisle that I was looking for. Little tiny stuff like this. Not for that though. Oh, there we go. This is going to be the juice that we need for today. A lot of you guys that are going in Academy have actually been saying, oh man, they only have bandito bugs, crack and crawls, and uh, slim shakes. Well, that's the time of the season. Here soon they should have trench hogs and mondo worms. And maybe some other little nuggets that we're coming out with. Mm. Yeah, I love nuggets. Oh, uh, the original? I think so. Pink? Yeah, that's gonna be the, the little doozy maker there. What else? We'll do pink, we'll do a white. Uh, maybe, maybe one with some oomph behind it, a little bigger pink one. Maybe this, maybe, uh, that should be enough, right? Uh, give me an original. That looks pretty original-ish. You know, we're gonna get one, one more of these little tiny dudes right here, just in case. They aren't that big. We might need some of these. Ah, it feels so good seeing those baits inside of Academy. I think I said this in the other video, but down here in Texas Academy is pretty much like, I think like the king of fishing tackle retail, I guess. I don't know, like when I was younger, that's all we, we went to was Academy to get our tackle. So it's cool to see it in there. But now it's time 
Time for one of the most serious dangles we've put on this channel in a long time. Uh, I really, really hope that the, uh, the lures I selected really work because it's the only ones that I got for the day. And I think that maybe some of you might be getting the drift that we'll, as to uh, clearly what we're going to be doing. It could be tasty, and it also could not pan out. <sighs> well, we did uh, we did link up with Steven. He just showed up, and the water is kicking like it's well, quite a damn clearly. But there we go. The lady did tell me they they put some trout in here. <laughs> there you go. Now you guys know. Hopefully we can do a catchy cook today, and uh, hopefully in a couple hours we're actually eating some of these son of a guns for lunch. That is the that is the, that is the plan. Myself and old Steven right there. He's. Steven's hungry, he says so. All right, step one, let's figure out if, if the trout are here or if they're down the river a little bit. I don't know, and I don't honestly know where they were stocked. I don't know if they put them up here, which I don't know how they would have done that, but that is an actual fair question to ask. I wonder if they're on this end or if they're way down the river. Wow, I didn't think about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out one of the original type baits right here. We're just gonna go with this. Like I was saying, this is, I know a lot of you guys up in the Pacific Northwest know what a rooster tail is. Some of you guys down here might, but Yakima bait, this is, literally from Granger, Washington. This is what I, when I was growing up, I did grow up in Seattle, Seattle area. This is what we would go out and just rip trout's face off with pretty much. Not really rip their face off, but this is what we'd catch them with. Da -na 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 -na. So a lot of you guys, if you guys are new to the channel, I, I, I was born in Texas and then I was moved to Washington as a kid. So I spent my younger life in Washington. I spent my upper teens, I guess you would say, down in uh, Texas before I joined the military. Little tiny rooster tail in that Lunker's TV skiff knife that are sold out, and I'm sorry. This is my uh, this is all the tackle I got for the day, so hopefully, we don't go through it. Yep, I just got one bag of Academy stuff. Okay, a little bit of caution tape here it says, uh, oh, do not enter. Okay, well, we're going for a walk. You got an extra GoPro battery? Yeah, yeah. okay, so I guess we're good. I bet you they're gonna sit in like a little, I don't know where they put them. That really makes me start to, to wonder. I wonder if they put them farther down the river because this river's fairly large or if they're up here. Oh, there's a, quite a bit of people here, huh? I will say this. I know that there's about 4 billion, I was about to say 4,000, but 4 billion, uh, actually there's, that's a bit of a number. There's a, wow, this is, I don't want to say it, but if we would've walked, you can just walk down there and there's a trail right there. So, unless you want to do what I'm doing, which I don't, yeah, just go and walk. I'm an idiot. Uh, okay. I'm going to give it a full send right here first. Oh, jeez. I don't know if I got hit. I'm like sitting here paying attention to this guy over here. I wonder, is he, is he a fishing pole? Okay, he does. It looked like all he had was a bulletproof vest on. But I think it's just like a fishing vest, I hope. That'd be really strange. Yeah. Flowy? Yeah. Flowy, I like that word, yeah. Upward. Flowy, yeah, I was actually just fishing this little... Oh, here's some people, I wonder if they caught anything. Let's follow, let's go talk to them. You guys catch them all down over there? Yeah. We haven't found we them. We caught yet. all of them, there's no more. There's no more trout? <laughs> no, we, we haven't, haven't found them yet, yet. two, two days. So we're gonna go around the other side. Oh shit, you guys haven't found them in two days? Well, we were here yesterday, we were yesterday and they said we were, they just stocked it yesterday. We were, yeah. up, we were up here. Huh? They said they stocked them, I think, at this white gate, dropped them in. So they must just pull the truck down to the water and dump them in down there. So. Oh, good. I thought it was going to be easy. <laughs> yeah, right. I wish. I want one of those days. <laughs> Little bit of a nature hike. You got to find some calm water, Stephen. We're looking for eddies. Oh, it just seems like it gets less inhibited as we go back. Imagine running into a cod out here, just having a had a knife fight with a coyote. What do you think about that? Flare catch and cook, flare catch and cook. You know, I think I could see Flare eating a coyote actually. Oh, he did eat a coyote? No, he didn't, he didn't eat a coyote. There's no way Flare ate a coyote. Well, maybe pink is too crazy. Maybe pink is too crazy of a color for these trout, I have no idea. Let me get out my handy dandy tackle box. I was throwing a 1 6 ounce weight. I'll tell you guys right now, throwing a 1 6 ounce weight on this rod and that thing was just flinging it, it's pretty decent. There's another 1 6 ounce. We'll go with a white tire. A white one this time. 
wonder if they're like, maybe the, may, maybe these fish are like so lazy that they just want to sit in this stuff. I got some fishing vests at home I should have wore. That might have helped me out. Damn it. All right, Steven, I think it's fine to go f find some uh, less flowy water. Oh, he's got, he's got it up, he's got it out. Let's go find some less flowy water. <laughs> a rod got stuck in my pocket. I've cast it backwards. Yeah, that happened. How about now? You catch anything now? But you haven't had any bites? No, not yet. They haven't had any either. Well, enjoy your day, sir. Okay, I don't feel as bad. Everyone we spoke to has had zero. I wonder if you I wonder if you have to wait a certain amount of time for the fish to be acclimated from being dumped in here. That's what I was thinking. It might be a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fishermen and no one's catching. You know what? I have a good idea. So a second ago I said I had a lot better idea. <laughs> you see that right there? I think you know what's about to happen. Maybe a little bit of like cilantro? cilantro? I want to put like a lemon dill sauce. Ooh, yes. Oh. Oh. Good to hit fish. <laughs> I love this kind of fishing. Bassy, you gotta get the mini cart. Slicing, guys. We'll just get these baby peels right here. Perfect. Oh, I'm good. Can I get one of these, uh, these sockeye sandwiches, please? Lemon dill sauce? No? I don't know. Yeah. Yep, that'll, that'll work. Five and a half. Correct way to catch and cook. This this should be. We're gonna try this. I've never tried this before. Lemon dill aioli. What does aioli even mean? smell a dog. Actually, it doesn't smell like dog in here. Steven got a dog, by the way. Hello. Oh. Yeah, that just happened. Why are you peeing everywhere, dude? What are you doing? Calm yourself. What do you want a dog? Is it, what are you what are you doing? Don't pee on my leg. Just calm yourself. Buddy, you need to go outside. Done a catch and cook like this. Damn, that actually smells really good. That smells really good. And this is a. Did you try this at all? Yeah, it's actually it's not bad. Damn, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. A little bit of aioli sauce. Just just take it, and just dump it on your face. I literally almost did that. <laughs> that's I almost did that. I almost oh did that. <laughs> I legitimately almost dumped that on my face. Wow, that would have been. That would have actually. I would have felt somewhat embarrassed as. Because that would have been not on purpose and I'm going to feel like an idiot. Okay, well, now it's time. Are you guys ready for the biggest catch and cook of your life? World's worst fisherman, catch and cook. What were you thinking? We're going to do this really epic like scene of sliding in this salmon that I caught at the store and Steven left a full-blown thing of bacon grease in your cooking. 
Why did you put the seriously? Why did you put bacon grease back into the oven? I. That's just, like, I was cleaning look, and I got out. The, look, I know. I, I want them to, to really fully see that there is a thing of bacon grease. Here, slide it on this piece of wood. Okay. There's some things in life that. I mean, that's a full blown. Wow, that is really hot, by the way. Holy sh. That's straight up bacon, dude. No, yeah, it's bacon. That's gonna bacon. smell good. All right, here we go. You have the timer set for this sucker? We will. The world's greatest catch and cook coming in hot from Lunker's TV. I know a lot of you guys were probably expecting me to go out there and just put the hammer down on some trout. Now when there's eight people around you not catching a dang thing, and you look at your watch and you say, hey, I'm hungry. Let's get the hell out of here. Go get some salmon. This trout's not a salmon, I promise you. All right, timer, I'll let you do this. This is your cook, since this is your project currently. But you caught it. I did, I caught it. Da -da -da -da. How's the catching cook coming, buddy? Not very good? Oh, no. We got good. some, look at these limes. Man, those are good looking limes you got here, buddy. Oh my gosh, look at those. Oh. 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 Look at that. Yeah. I don't know, is it flaking? It's got a flake. A little more? I don't know, it's got a flake. Is it flaking on? Pull some, uh, maybe just, maybe just a little bit. Maybe a little like little two minutes, maybe, max. Okay. So when you guys do catching cooks, you guys have to make sure you have phenomenal things for sides. When did we become a cooking channel? Oh yeah, that's right. Just oh, dangle it. I don't want to be that guy, but are those daisies? No, what are those sunflowers? Yeah, my sister got them. Okay. I think I think the oh gosh dang sun gosh dang in the mushrooms. Woo! Is it flaking? You want, you want to try a piece? Well, I mean, shove some in your mouth. It'll be good. I promise you. That's fine. That's got to be good. Hot. It's hot. It's fishy, though. So it's not cooked? Is that what you're trying to tell me? No, oh, it looks fine right there. I mean, it I looks... It. It's cooked. No, that's good. It, yeah, it looks that's fun. Good. Yeah. Looks good. It'd actually cook a little bit well, longer me, if we just pulled yeah. it up in there anyway. So. There go. Good to go. Good to go. Dog, where are you at? You done, you done peeing? What's his dog? What's his dog's name anyway? Uh, Willie. He's named after Willie Nelson, the guy that said. Willie, <laughs> are you good? Fork it, fork those mushrooms. In a couple Just, of decades, uh, so. Uh, Watching my boy head. Drinking the blood and honey. I show Watching you. my boy. Oh, what do you get there, buddy? Oh, tackle the Lord. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, look at Hector. It's a lot of tackle. Oh, that, is, that is a lot of tackle, dude. All ready to go into the tackle box here. I'm actually so excited that Hector got his own boat. Uh, we're going out with him, I think, to, yeah, it is tomorrow. We're going out tomorrow with him to take him out to Crescent, his boat, for the first time. Now, he's from Chicago. And, well, and you know what? Actually, I think he was born in uh, El Paso, Texas, and he lived in Mexico. That doesn't really matter. You guys don't need to know all that, the finer details of Hector Rodriguez. But I don't believe he's ever driven a boat or backed a boat up. Maybe, you know, he's backed a boat up this big. Anyway, I don't think he's ever crescented a boat, a 21-foot FX Skeeter. And he got the Apex model. Like, he got the, the biggest and best model you can get. And I'm telling you right now, I don't know if he's ever done it. I'm pretty excited to go out with him tomorrow and, and get the honorary crescent of the boat. Hopefully, we can actually get some big fish. That's, that's pretty much what we need to do. I don't like this video. You know, we were going out to them trout, and now we're, uh, we're, about to, we're about to hammer down on some salmon back there. Yes, this is a lunchtime prep meal. At a, it's actually a little past 2, so it's, it's more like midday. It's my first meal of the day, actually. Prepped and done. Look at that, buddy boy. Hey, how much weight have you lost? Uh, seven pounds. In seven pounds? Six days? So, seven seven days? days? So Okay, so so Steven is down, so he's got to lose how many we say? 60 or 90? What did we say? Uh, 90. 90, 90. 90. 90 is the official poundage that he is going to lose. Now here, I, I'm, we're, we're thinking hopefully over the next week or so, we're going to be able to announce some stuff. You know what, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to like, I'm not going to give anything that's going on. We're just going to say, you'll, you'll find it here soon enough as we pour some of those. Oh my gosh, pour them on that salmon, buddy. Oh, well, I'm going to eat some of this drizzled salmon and uh, hope you guys enjoy this little catch and cook. It's, I'm a world's worst fisherman catch and cook. You know what's good about right now? is I have a truck at the house, but I get to take an Uber home. <laughs> so 
go ahead and drink another blood and honey and I'll see you guys here in a minute. Got that all settled. Yeah, I've actually been putting stuff uh, like this, the trailer, it's been sitting here pretty much the last like two months. And now the truck is gonna be parked here uh, probably for just about a, maybe, I don't know, not too long. I'll probably move it actually into the garage. I might actually move it in the garage today, uh, depending on what we gotta, gotta get going on in, in there. But uh, yeah, like I said, I wanted to park this here, mainly due to the fact that uh, whenever we go to give this sucker away and when we're actually doing the giveaway, there is zero chance that it could get stolen which I guess there's always a chance, but hopefully it doesn't get stolen and or uh, gets in an accident. But if I park it inside the garage all locked up and secure, it should be good. Man, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I will actually be <sighs> such a good truck. It's built for fishing and hunting. This really, it really is. This rig is just, just look at it. Just look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss you, baby girl. I know that I keep telling you guys this is going to be the last time I show you some stuff. It's clearly not. So you guys remember I came back here last week and they were just, they dug this giant trench in the backyard. And uh, well, this is pretty much, this is what we got. They got the collection boxes in, as you guys can tell. Each one of these every so often. It's kind of neat. I want to be honest with you, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm just kind of digging it. kind of like it. So they actually go all the way around. There's another one right there. Keeps going. Because we didn't have these things back here, as you guys can see, all the way down. We just, this thing would just be full of water. Out of, it just, it wouldn't work. So we got these. There's another one here. It was all the way around, but they're still putting in some more piping as I'm going to show you guys here in a second. Comes off there, into there, and out. It smells good. Oh, oh, hit it. Oh, oh, hit it. <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys, I don't think I ever told them yet, that when I asked for a cedar fence, I don't think I ever tell them this. I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't know if I so I told him I wanted a cedar post fence. I was like, yeah, I want cedar. I showed him what it looked like. And the original images I showed him was like a cedar post, which is usually they'll take like one of these, maybe cut it into four pieces or something like that. But they legitimately got cedar trees. They just cut the limbs off of and did my entire fence in cedar trees. I'm not complaining. It's really, 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 really strong. Like, that's a tree. Okay, Steven's gonna take me over to a spot where I can actually uh, snag an Uber and get out of here because, like I said, that truck's gonna be staying right here. House, I love you. Someday I'll be living in you, hopefully. Put my, put my men, I was gonna say, put my nether regions all up inside you, but oh, I shouldn't say that. Probably not. Just takes a minute. No, you're good. I just didn't want you to run over something. You probably shouldn't. Yeah, you're good. Keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just keep going. You're still on the concrete. I'd probably give it a stop right there, though. There? Look at all the work they're doing. As you can tell, it's a little bit darker than the last time I spoke with you guys. I pretty much got an Uber, drove to Sarah's mom's house, ate some dinner, and haven't really done anything that's been mildly entertaining and or, why is that guy driving down the road with his headlights off? I can't wait till I move. So weird. Anyway, I was gonna tell you guys, why in the world do they even make, look at this. What the f... Oh, damn it. Even more of an update, I think he was just actually turning his headlights off because he was turning into the house, which makes sense. Avery, would you like to tell everybody goodbye? No, not in the mood right now. Okay. That's okay. Steven got a dog. You wanna see Steven's dog? Yeah? I'll show you in a second. Oh my gosh. Say bye-bye. Bye. If you guys have a daughter and you don't know what JoJo is, you're about to find out. Just hope you don't. Anyway, this is the last time, hopefully we do an outro right here in this very spot. We're almost done with this house. Maybe next week we'll be out of it and we'll be in the new one. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Tomorrow's gonna be a nice, spicy, succulent one. Anyway, you guys know the video. Click that video right there and that's it. Hey, click the one right below. Do you have already subscribed? Right down there, do it to me one piece. I love every single one of you. Thanks for hanging out. And I'm about to disappear right about.